shoes are in. Look at them. Look at their tiny arms. They're like little T-Rexes. Oh my God, I look like such a scruff bag. But as accurate, that's who I am. That's who I am. Oh, hello there lovely person. Would you like to have a look at my Inktober's for this week so far? Let's have a look, shall we? Day eight was this comic. And then day nine, there's this poor slug on a thorn. That sympathetic magic. He's going to take your warts away. And then... Oh, I can't get it. This was day 10. I spelt breath wrong. I didn't notice until I posted it. And I, I don't care, it's fine. And then... Oh my, day 10. There's this dude that I drew when I was having a fancy treat in prep and then day 11 no it's not 11 this was 12 i said the numbers wrong but anyway respond to the gra consultation you totally should please do it this one the gra is the gender recognition act and the government the uk government have a survey running at the moment that you can fill in and it's just about how the act needs to be changed because it was founded in 2004 I believe and it's just seriously outdated like it's good that we have it but it needs to change it just needs to be sorted out there's just stuff like it's it's so medicalized and expensive and you shouldn't have to prove yourself to like a panel of people like it's just it's not not cool um, there's a weird thing, I, it's just wrong, there's like, your, if you're married, then your spouse can just veto it, like they can just block you from getting your gender recognition certificate, which is, is wrong, that should be got rid of, for sure. Uh, non-binary people just legally don't exist, that's fucking ridiculous. Non-binary people exist, guys, like, hi, they're real. Um, Oh, there's a lot of people are complaining that you have to be 18 to apply for it. There aren't any direct questions about age, but um, I think Stonewall and Gendered Intelligence both have some really helpful pages to like guide you through filling in some of the stuff. Not in a like telling you what to say kind of a way, just in like explaining it. And they point out, I think a Gendered Intelligence point out which questions would be best to mention the age thing. And yeah, it just needs sorting out, so fill in the survey. If you're watching this before the 19th of October 2018 and you're in the UK, if you haven't filled it out already, fill in the GRA. If you've ever made any claim to give a shit about trans people on any level, step up, fill in the survey. It's so easy. You don't have to answer all of the questions. You can fill in as much or as little as you want, but you know that shithead turfs are gonna be filling it in and they're we need to drown them out with sensible voices that are saying sensible things so respond to the GRA consultation hopefully there's a time lapse now of me drawing today's Inktober um I thought I'd talk a little bit about how Inktober is going that seems relevant um it's been pretty good like I'm having ups and downs with it, as is life. Um, I'm definitely being much more productive than I would be. It's making me think more. It's making me... Like, I draw every day anyway, but not to a... I don't know. It's more scribbly and diary-y. So it's nice to be doing something... Like, I'm, I haven't really been doing anything, like, really amazing. And I don't even know what that means. 
I don't know, this is like another thing, like it's like the other side of it, like I am feeling a bit like mine aren't good enough, they're not interesting enough, there's not enough to them, but I think that that's silly, I think that that's that bad voice that we shouldn't listen to, I'm doing my best and they're alright, <laughs> but yeah, I feel, feel good that I'm managing it, I'm not quite halfway through yet, but I'm still doing it. I didn't know that I honestly thought I might not get through the first week. So it's nice that I'm managing to actually do it. That feels good. So overall, it's making me feel pretty good. It's making me think more, do more work. I think it's good for me as an artist. At the end of it, I'll be better practised and hopefully I'll be able to keep up like not posting every day but being able to come up with things more often and I don't know I feel like it's got my gears going a bit I feel like it will have helped me creatively in the long run like hopefully I'll be able to keep keep this going after October not posting every day but like I don't know that feeling of productivity and drawing and stuff hopefully I'll be able to carry on um some cons of Inktober would be like I'm worrying about the quality of my work like are they interesting enough are they worth doing are people liking them are they like I, I don't know if it, if they're too simple but like which is silly because it's, it's weird because I really love really simple work but like is mine good enough to be that simple is it interesting enough do people connect with it I don't even know, like, what do I even want to be getting out of it? What do I want people to be? But then I can't even decide that. It's not up to me how people react to it. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I'm very, very confused by it. I think as well, I was kind of hoping that I'd get some more followers or some more, like, interaction or... I don't even know, but I was kind of hoping that it would help. I guess, like, in a work way like there's the fact that it's helping me as someone who draws like creatively it's definitely helping but I don't feel like I'm getting any further along with like building an audience or being able to you know I hate saying it but make more money which I know is silly because I'm not Inktober isn't something that I'm trying to sell so it makes sense that I'm not it's not generating sales or whatever I feel so shit talking about money connected to art like that like it isn't why I make stuff but like my lack of money causes me so much stress and panic and I don't know what to do about it and I'm trying to build myself up and it doesn't feel like it's working but I know that stuff like that can just take a lot of time and you just have to keep going and I don't know what else I would do so I just have to keep doing it and hope for the best. But yeah, this this is is that weird thing. Like with this Inktober, it's having there's a lot of like negative anxiety, like lack of confidence type of thoughts going on. But then it is also I'm proud that I'm managing to do it. That's my phone. Sorry, I'm proud that I'm managing to do it, and I am managing to do it, and I do like it, and it's definitely good I'm drawing so much more this month than I normally do and I think that they're all right they're pretty good and it's making me work in a way like it's good to have a goal like you can set your own goals but it's a lot more difficult to stick to them because it's like it doesn't matter as much if you don't bother and even though like there I don't think anyone would call me out like no one's going to hold me accountable for not doing Inktober but there's just something about the fact that everybody's doing it that makes it easier to be like, no, I have to get this done today. And like, that's another thing that I'm hoping I can carry over into like setting my own goals and being like, no, even though it's just something that I've made up, I still, I have to do it. Like I'm really focusing on how it can help me like be better in my art practice regardless of whether it's got me more followers or more whatever else like that's just the weird panicked part of my brain is caring about that stuff but the sensible 
decent part of my brain is thinking about how it's helping me creatively and I really think that it is. I think I'm getting a lot out of it, even if it isn't visible to other people, I definitely am benefiting from it. So I'm really glad that I'm managing it. Hopefully that time lapse worked because otherwise where, where will I have put this? I don't know what I was doing while I was talking and it's overexposed and stuff. So yeah, hope, hope, hopefully you got to watch me draw while I rambled about that. So yeah, it's especially weird because it's like, oh yeah, I just drew that picture and talked over it. I haven't drawn that picture yet. Don't know. Don't, don't know what that picture you just watched was. I ain't thought of it. I ain't started it. Let's, let's see. I mean, you already see. You know. You know what I did today. I don't. That's kind of weird. Oh my god, I love it. And I'm so conflicted because I thought that I was gonna um, just rough it out in my sketchbook and then like trace it up and draw it and like paint it or something and I just really liked it and I just kept going. So like it's good, like I'm really pleased with it but there are bits in it that are really wrong that I want to change, that I was planning on changing, like some of it is just not, not quite right, but like I don't know if it matters, I know if I try and trace that up and draw it again it's going to lose what I like about it, like it's going to lose the like organic, I don't know, niceness of drawing it, like when you, when you don't think you're going to share it, you don't think it's a final thing, you don't think it's important, it turns out so much nicer because there's no pressure on you, and I, I like this in a way that I wouldn't be able to like something that I'd intentionally drawn as a final piece. And I'm just going to have to live with the mistakes because I really, really like it. I'm really proud of this. You know where they are. Yeah, I ain't broken my head stuck last time. <laughs> How do I get one back getting my head stuck? Buy a hole in it. You're such a dum dum. I'm not giving you them. You've got to get them for yourself. Well, that's supposed to be smart. There you go. Break it. <laughs> Stop getting so overexcited, Tiny Tim. The other two got scared of it. Yeah, I think so. They're like, Pixel's gonna bash us with that. Let's get out of the way. <laughs> Will you learn that? If you turn it over, do they fall out? Taking it. <laughs> it's going to fall down the hole. <laughs> oh, no.